Hi, my name is Vineet, and I'm here to welcome you to your new MioDAC device. You probably just got this device and took it out of the box, and you might have noticed that we've added a lot of accessories to help you get up and running as quick as possible. So let's have a look. We've got the actual Mio device, MioDAC device here. This is the 6453, USB 6453. And as I open up the box here, I've got this accessory section. The first thing I notice is a USB Type-C cable. And this particular cable also comes with a, a thumb screw. And so I can securely connect to the back of the device. And then the other thing you'll notice is we added a few more different connector types. So if I put this down here. These are called spring terminal connectors. And so it's a little bit different than maybe what you've used in the past. You might be used to screwing down wires to your DAC device using, using screw terminals. These are spring terminals. And so they work a bit differently where I can just directly insert the, the wires and immediately it clamps on on its own with the this, with this spring connection. And in order to release it, you can use the tool to then push down. So let me show you, let me show you a quick example. Here I've got my wires here for my signal connection. I'm just going to go ahead and connect into channel 0 with differential signaling. And once I've inserted it, it's pretty easy, and I get a very secure connection. Now to remove that connection, that's when I would use the screwdriver. Now you'll also notice in the, device, in the box, we've included these plastic back shells. And these are really nice because they go, they pair with these terminals. So once you've already finished wiring up all your signals, you can actually screw these on and clamp them and add strain relief and some, some safety and some protection. So I have an example here, pre-wired. And this is nice because now I can create a removable custom cable to connect to my different devices under test. And all of these then securely connect to the MioDAC device. Now, once I've got my wiring set up and I've, I've got my connections, the next thing I need to do is install software. Software is basically how I'm going to configure and program all the different inputs and outputs on my device. So I've got my development computer here. If you're watching this video on your phone, this is to be the good time to switch to your Windows PC where you plan to actually program your, your DAC application. And you can go to the MioDAC setup page to get all the right downloads and installation instructions. So one quick way to do that is I can open up the camera app in Windows. Hello. And I can look at the barcode setting right here in order to scan the card that ships with the device. I could also scan the back of the MioDAC device because we print the same barcode on every device. So this is where you might have already seen I can get all the different pinouts and manuals and instructions. You, you can see the actual video that this is uh, on this page as well. And then right below that, here's where I have options for setting up software. So this is where I can choose LabVIEW or FlexLogger. I can choose to download the DACMX driver or install the Python package support. And so all the instructions and download links are available right here. And in fact, I've already installed all the software on this particular machine. So now, all I have to do is just plug in the MioDAC device. I'm going to plug into this USB Type-C port. And because DACMX is installed, it immediately detects my USB 6453. I can run test panels. I could start developing in LabVIEW. In this case, maybe I just want to open up FlexLogger and start logging measurements with the included data acquisition software. So that's the brief introduction to NI MioDAC.